Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0. And today is day four. So, yesterday we dove into Command Contacts, our second applet down here. And as you can see, we manually added a contact to our database. That was Marty McFly, and we added some tags and some contact information. Marty McFly is now our first fictional character inside of our command database. Today, I want to show you a way to add contacts in bulk from a resource that we all carry in our pocket, in our hand, in our purse, the majority of our day, and that is our phone. So we're actually going to do this using the KW Command app. So there is an app for KW Command, and we're gonna show you how you can bring in contacts from your phone quickly and easily using that app. So I'm going to drag over my screen share for my phone here. Give me one second, and here we go. So this is my phone home screen, and this is the KW Command app. So you can download this from both the Google Play or iPhone App Store. You're looking for the red background with the white letters. And when we open up the command app, this is what you're gonna see on the screen. We're gonna do some training in full on the command app later in the challenge, but this is specifically how you can add contacts to your database from your phone using the command app. So at the very bottom of the screen, you're gonna see five buttons. There's a house, a silhouette of a person, a checklist, a notification bell, and then a menu icon. We're gonna click on that second icon from the left, the silhouette of the person. That's our contacts applet on the app. You can see there we've got Marty McFly, the contact that we've added. Now to quickly and easily add additional contacts from our phone, we're gonna click on the three little dots in the top right hand corner, just below where you can see my battery charge there, the three dots, and then you'll see that there is a menu option that's called import contacts. I'm gonna click on import contacts and immediately you'll see that 3,112 contacts just got loaded from my phone onto this list. These are all the contacts that currently exist in my phone. Now I can go in and choose one, several, or all of those contacts to be imported into command. Now you wanna be careful about importing all. You could use select all. You can see that's an option there at the top of the screen. That's gonna bring everybody from your phone in. There's some pros and cons there. You may end up getting contacts like Papa John's, right? He's in my phone several times. We order a lot of pizza for Papa John's in my family. That's not a contact I want in my database. So you probably want to go through this list and hand select the contacts that you do want. Just to show you what that looks like, I'm gonna click on A seller, the first contact there in my list. I'm gonna click on continue. It's gonna say, hey, this process can't be undone once we begin this import, are you sure? I'm gonna click on continue one more time. You'll see that little success bar fill up. And once I click on continue at the bottom, then we now have a new contact in our database. You can see it on the front screen here on the phone. And if I drag this phone off the screen and we do a refresh on the desktop version, you can now see that a seller has been added to the database as well. So that's a really quick and easy way to get contacts from your phone into your database. Just as a quick heads up, I'm gonna bring the command app back over and show you that the reverse is also true. So Marty McFly is in command right now, but does not exist in my database. If I go in and open up Marty's contact record and I click on those same three dots at the top right hand corner, you're gonna see that there's an option to save contact to phone. And if I do that, now you can see it pulls up my iPhone, pulls in all the information that we have about Marty, including his email and his address. I can click on done and now I have a brand new contact in my phone. So it goes both ways, an easy way to add contacts from your phone into command and also from command back into your phone. That's it for today, guys. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to show you one more way to bulk add contacts into your KW Command database using a CSV or Excel style format. We're gonna import a file Stay tuned for that tomorrow. As always, look forward to talking to you then.